Hi, welcome to the Sinfonera YouTube channel. My name is Oliver, and I play violin and viola with the Sinfonera strings. But today, I'll be talking about this wonderful instrument, which is the French horn. So, let's get started. The French horn is part of the brass family of instruments, such as a trumpet, trombone, euphonium, and tuba. Unlike other wind instruments, like the clarinet and the flute, we have to use a mouthpiece to make a noise. To make a noise through the mouthpiece, we have to buzz our lips together, which is basically vibrating our lips, like this. And when we do that in the mouthpiece, this is how it sounds. And finally, when we put the mouthpiece back into our instruments, this is how it sounds. Because of the name of the French horn, many people assume that it was made in France, but actually it was made in Germany. We can find many different types of French horns, one of them being the single horn, also known as the F horn. That French horn has only three sets of valves and only one set of tubing, here. The second type of French horn, which is most commonly used in many different ensembles, is the one I'm holding right here. This is called the double French horn, also known as the B-flat horn. It has two sets of tubing and a thumb trigger. This thumb trigger lets you switch between each set of tubing. The other less used French horn is a triple horn, which as the name implies has three sets of tubing. The horn is a very versatile instrument that can be used in many different types of ensembles. Some of these ensembles may include brass quintets, wind quintets, wind ensembles, brass ensembles, concert bands, orchestras, and even jazz bands. In these ensembles, the horn can convey various emotions and characters, such as light and playful. Or, the horn can play very sad and lyrical passages, such as this one. Or even, the French horn can be used as a solo instrument and play many concertos and sonatas, such as this. If you've ever seen somebody play the horn, you might be wondering what we do with our other hand. This hand is very important. One of the things that we can do with it is supporting our French horn, and the other is muting it. When we mute our French horn, it also lowers the pitch by a semitone, like this. I hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial on the French horn. Make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks, see you next video!